gets things running. And play for a throw. Tony to Vilhena. He's making a foray down the right. Looking for a decent ball in. Massive leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. DSP can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Feyenoord have really got the wind in their sails, and I'm not sure whether this team has an anchor. Shapes the shoots! Goal, PSV! Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. PSV have an early lead. Good start. Now it's Van Persie. Van Persie. He's can he put it away? Now. It is a corner. It's been taken short. Van Persie. Shoots! That is wayward. Van Persie worked a lovely solo run and effort, Peter. He should go solo again for me. Cross it here. Van Ginkel. Van Persie looking to break out here. And it's been given away. Has a pop! It's broken loose. And it's Luke de Jong. Challenge, he just stood firm. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Gets the chance to cross. The ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. Chance to break. He's on his way. He's one on one. And the finish. And oh! Percy, Van Percy, forward it goes. And we hit half time, so there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they definitely won't be here with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. Feiner don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. He's through and all alone! Shot a goal! Lovely idea, just didn't get it right. There's no doubt he made the right decision, but without the right result. Better of his opposite number. Defending was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. He's got away. Has a swing at it. He scores. Feyenoord are all square. A 
Clark given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Feyenoord at the equaliser, and we're all square. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. It is quite a run he's making here. Looking to shoot! He's gone for it! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and they've got to be careful, Peter, that they don't allow their attempt to snuff out the threat now to turn into indiscipline. Big chance! He's had a shot! Goal! Feyenoord! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother where you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. Feyenoord get themselves into the lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. He's left his man. PSV are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And it's Luke de Jong. Gets wrestled off the ball. PSV have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Going through, can he score? Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. You can only admire his attitude with the determination he found to, to get close. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. And that's it. Feyenoord did it the hard way. A testament to their great powers of recovery. They have defied the odds. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Yes, they turned lost cause into a great cause. It took resilience and character, but they had ample amounts. That's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.